Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Plexus. So today we're gonna see the variation of the flow through a dam. But before I start, if you're into civil engineering and you love learning, this is the right channel for you. Subscribe to CA Tune. So this is the tutorial, it's tutorial number 10. It's flow through an embankment. So we're gonna see the flow uh, through an earth embankment. Uh, it's an earth dam and see the variation of these flow in the dam. I'll attach a link to this PDF in the description box so you can draw it. So I will tell you that this tutorial is not for beginner. It's an advanced tutorial. Uh, if you're a beginner, you should uh, watch the first tutorial I've made to learn how to draw this model because I will not draw it in this tutorial. So this is the input, the general settings, uh, the model, uh, the borehole model type. We've made here four boreholes to obtain this uh, profile of the dam. <coughs> and this is the material and then we're going to generate a mesh and create a flow so here is the four ball hole one two three and four to create this section of the dam we haven't drawn anything we've created a mesh this is the flow condition we've created a global water flow uh, with a global water flow like this so it's, uh, it's created also uh, through the, uh, the, the dam here, the water head, through the boreholes. Okay, so we'll no, uh, do now the calculation. We have the initial phase, phase 1 and phase 2. So on the phase 2, we're going to select... Uh, uh, we're going to select here select line water boundaries are we going to select them like this and we've choose them here uh, we set the behavior to head and set the uh, reference as 4.5 so this is 4.5 and we've created the head function so it's a harmonic uh, signal drop down so it's in a harmonic variation in the water it comes from 0 to 1 to minus 1 So here we can see the head function. It's a harmonic signal. So this is the variation of the water head per day. And then we've made the calculation. So I'm going to go and check the results. So first of all, we're going to see a cross-section. Okay, so for the cross-section, we're going to create an animation uh, of the dam. So we're going to go to pour pressure groundwater head and go to create animation in file. So let's see how we do it. Groundwater, uh, pour pressure, groundwater head. And I go to file, create animation, and I choose which phase I want. So to spare some time, we press on OK. I've made already an animation. So you can see here the variation of the water head. You can change the speed of it, of course. And now we're going to create also a cross section. So the cross section is at 2, 3, 20, and 1 to see the pore pressure in it. So let's go. We're going to go to tools, cross section, 2, 3, and 20 and 1 we've created a cross section this is the cross section i'm gonna go to stress pore pressure active pore pressure we can see the pore pressure here so now i'm gonna go to tools cross section curves i'm gonna choose phase one and change it from last step to individual step here we can see each and every step of uh, the pore pressure with every phase this is phase one at t equals 0 0.2 days 
and these are the variation so we can see the pore pressure and the length so this is it for this tutorial if you like it subscribe to my youtube channel and leave a comment if you need anything in the comment box and stay tuned